Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the second part of this Toyota Aries gearbox replacement. It's more of a follow-up video because installation is the reversal removal, like my buddy Thomas says. If you haven't seen the first video, we're gonna leave a card at the top here so you can check that out. It's the video where I removed everything. And in that video, I'm a lot more detailed about removing everything. And in this video, I'm gonna be focusing more on the important bits that I feel that I should be mentioning and then fill the gearbox with gearbox oil and go for a test drive. Okay guys, so I, I cleaned the clutch fork as, as good as I could. It was quite rusted out like this one. And I cleaned them out. And I wasn't supplied the second one of, you know, of course. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just squeeze it up the, where the bearing is gonna go here. Don't need too much, really. A little bit for the shaft. And then the pivot point. You also wanna grease that up nicely. And I'm gonna put a little bit inside here. Okay. That's pretty much it. A little bit on the berry. So, right, so refit it really easy. Just pop it through. The little rubber here. Okay, so that's the clutch fork back in place, the bearing in place. It's moving nice and freely. Throughout bearing is smooth as well, better than the other one. It looks quite new. So that's it. Gonna put a little bit of grease here, the other end where the clutch slave cylinder is gonna go. Okay, so now Result of shot there, so let's put a little bit of grease here where this loose cylinder is going to connect, and we are ready to go back in the car. Right guys, so I'm a bit lost. I don't know where I I finished the last clip, but you probably saw me struggling to to refit the gearbox. It's in place. I've got those two bolts holding it at the top there, and I've got another two bolts at the bottom. And now, because I I'm gonna have to finish this job tomorrow, what I need to do. I need to secure everything now so i'm gonna fit this mount for today and i'll carry on the job tomorrow so again this bracket this bracket first we're gonna to have to use some loctites so those bolts they have loctite on them
All right, so at this point the gearbox is in and I fitted also the right hand side mount so the engine and gearbox is secured now and I should be able to work around it until I fit the front and the, the rear mount. My next step is going to be fit the clutch slave cylinder and then the linkage, the gear linkage. That's one of the things that I like to do first every time I work on the clutch on a gearbox. I didn't work on a clutch here but is one of those things that I like to do so that's my next step that connect as well this is the only this is the only electrical connector they have around this gearbox is it the same one is it gonna fit oh. interesting so the connector right on the edge here in this corner it seems to be a little bit bent so I'm just gonna straighten that and it should be okay. All right, that seems to be a little bit better. Let's see if I can connect that now. Yes. Now it goes in, perfect. Lovely. All right, so that's sorted. Right, so clutch slave cylinder back in, get linkage, got the clutch slave cylinder pipe all fixed in, the earth strap, don't forget about the earth strap otherwise you're gonna have all sorts of problems. That's the only electrical connector which is probably a reverse sensor I believe, very likely. So we are ready now to just have a feel, feel how the, the clutch is. If it's, it's nice and smooth. Try the gears. Okay, feels good. Got lovely pressure there. Very light. The gears again. Yeah, I've got all the gears. Reverse. Good. Next up, starter motor and then engine mount. Right, so for the drive shaft, the gearbox side has this clip, little clip in place. So what we need to do, just get the thing through, make sure you don't hurt the seal as well. There's a little seal there. Make sure That's in. And generally, just push on it. Right, so everything back together, apart from the, the covers here at the front. And I apologize in advance for this. I feel like this video is gonna be a little bit over the place. It might turn just into a gearbox oil change. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do now. That's the final step. I've got the car on axis stand, both sides level. And now we are going to fill the gearbox with oil. So you have this plug at the front of the, the gearbox there, I'll show you in a minute. I did look online, it takes about 2.4 litres of oil. They brought me 2 litres, 
and I checked it was the right oil regarding the Halfords manual there so I might have to go back and get another one but we'll see now I did have a, a pump to fill the gearbox with oil and it is broken so what I'm going to do these bottles they they come with a little spout there and I'm what I'm gonna what I'm going to do this high-tech design we're gonna use this little hose and basically I'm gonna fit that into the the filling hole and then start dropping the the oil it should be pretty easy with the with the bottle so let's go ahead and fit that into the hole until we start leaking out when you start leaking out you you know it's it's, it's full Let's just start to dripping now, guys. Start to dripping now, so that should be level. Okay, so that's it. Ready for a test drive. Right, so time to start the car and go through the gears. I hope the battery is okay. Foot on a clutch. Oh, it started. Lovely. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna go through the gears. So get the oil circulating through every gear. Okay, so ready to test drive. Hopefully no more noises. It's the brake scraping a little bit. It's a bit rusty. Easy here with the first drive. Yeah, it's no scraping anymore. No more grinding noises, lovely. Moves nicely. I'm going to put this video together now. It's more of a follow up video, really. I don't know how it's going to turn up, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I see you all in the next video. Cheers.